This is Football Nation America and welcome to our channel. Over the past 40 years or so in the NFL, there have been some amazingly hard, brutal hits, some legal and some not. As players continue to get bigger, faster, and stronger, the hard hits will come with greater and greater frequency. So, here are what we believe to be the top 10 knockouts hits in the history of the National Football League. Number 10. Derek Barnett hits Jamal Williams. The Green Bay Packers Philadelphia Eagles Week 4 matchup got off to an ugly, scary start because of a late hit. On the Packers opening drive, running back Jamal Williams received a pass from Aaron Rodgers and was immediately wrapped up. Eagles defensive end Derek Barnett then came from behind the play and hit Williams in the head, well after he had been wrapped up. Williams immediately fell to the ground. Barnett was flagged for the play. After several minutes of being examined on the ground, Williams was taken off in a stretcher. He gave a thumbs up to the crowd, and Barnett came over to speak with him before Williams was taken off the field. Williams gave a thumbs up as he left the field, and it was later reported he had movement in all four extremities. Number 9. Dante Robinson's hit on Deshaun Jackson. This hit was flat out scary. It was visually disturbing. Deshaun Jackson, who is 5 feet 10 inches and generously listed at 165 pounds, looked like a dummy when he was laid out by Dante Robinson in this 2010 regular season game. The really frightening thing about this hit is that both guys were concussed and were down for several minutes afterward, which you'll rarely see. I vividly remember watching this hit and being shocked by what I saw. Dante Robinson is a repeat offender of these helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits, having made a very similar one against fellow Eagles wideout Jeremy Macklin earlier this year. Altogether, this is one of the hardest, most solid, and brutal hits in NFL history. Number 8. Geronimo Allison gets brutal hit from Tracy Walker. The Green Bay Packers receiving core is banged up, and that was true even before Geronimo Allison suffered a scary-looking injury. On the first play of the second half, Allison dove for a low pass by Aaron Rodgers. He was hit helmet to helmet by Detroit Lions defensive back Tracy Walker. The contact was incidental, as Walker was simply trying to make a play on the ball. However, the hit was flagged and Allison was down for several minutes. Thankfully, he was able to walk off under his own power and enter the blue medical tent on the Green Bay sideline. Lions safety Tracy Walker had some harsh words for the officiating crew after the team's 23-22 loss to the Packers Monday night. Walker was asked about the unnecessary roughness call he was penalized for in the third quarter when he collided with Packers receiver Geronimo Allison. He said was just trying to go for the ball and had no intention of trying to smash into Allison, who left the game to be checked out for a concussion and chest injury. According to Walker, he was trying to intercept Aaron Rodgers' pass and was not trying to make contact at all with Allison. However, they had helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, which is what drew the flag. Number 7. Mason Rudolph gets a scary hit. There was a scary moment during the third quarter of the Steelers-Ravens game on Sunday, October 6, 2019, when quarterback Mason Rudolph was knocked unconscious after being sandwiched by a hit from behind by Brandon Carr and a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit by Earl Thomas. Replays showed Rudolph appeared to go limp after being hit by Thomas and then hit his head a second time when he fell to the ground. Rudolph's Steelers teammates, especially wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, who was seen crying, appeared panicked and emotional as they tried to wake him up. He eventually regained consciousness and was able to talk to paramedics, who removed his face mask and eventually stand up after several minutes down on the field. He was half carried off the field, and he appeared to be mouthing, I'm good. The quarterback had to be carried off rather than carted off because the Steelers' cart broke down on the field, adding insult to injury. Rudolph was taken to a hospital, where he was eventually diagnosed with a concussion. Rookie Devlin Hodges came in to replace Rudolph for the remainder of the game. Number 6. Darren Sproles destroyed by DeShazer Everett headshot. There's no fighting in football, at least there's not supposed to be any. But if there ever was a reason for guys to throw down, it was DeShazer Everett's hit on Darren Sproles in the fourth quarter of the Eagles' 27-22 loss to the Redskins. You shouldn't be able to hit someone illegally and walk away with the only repercussion being 15 yards and an earful from your coaches. 
That doesn't seem fair. The Eagles had every right to react the way they did. To their credit, the officials actually did a pretty good job of separating the players and not overreacting by penalizing more players for defending their teammate while he remained down, surrounded by Eagles medical personnel. Luckily, Sproles was not seriously injured. Although he did not return to the game. Number 5. Sheldon Brown laying out Reggie Bush. As one YouTube subscriber so eloquently commented, Sheldon Brown knocked the Kardashian out of Reggie Bush on this hit. This is perhaps one of the most square, perfect tackles that we've ever seen. Reggie looked like a straight-up rag doll on this one. Pause the video to see what I'm talking about. The great thing about this hit is that it was 100% legal. Brown led with his shoulder, squared up, and delivered a hit to Bush's body rather than his head, something which current NFL defensive backs should work on doing more often. What really speaks to the gravity of this hit is that Bush tries to get up, does, then goes right back down after and starts crawling on the ground. What a hit. Number 4. Dupree hit more helmet to helmet. Dupree hit more helmet to helmet as the QB scrambled toward the sideline, and it resulted in him being briefly knocked out of the game. Moore was down on the field for several minutes but managed to return to the game after missing only one play. Moore was down on the field longer than it took team doctors to examine him for a concussion. As ESPN noted in its report, the NFLPA is investigating the Dolphins' handling of the situation. Moore did not exactly have the best grasp on the football the rest of the afternoon, losing two fumbles and getting intercepted once. Bud Dupree's big hit will result in a sizable hit to his wallet. The Steelers' pass rusher has been fined somewhere between $18,000 and $24,000 for his controversial hit on Dolphins quarterback Matt Moore during last weekend's AFC Wild Card game. Number 3. Jack Tatum's hit on Daryl Stingley. Jack Tatum's hit on Daryl Stingley was tragic. Stingley came over the middle and Tatum, arguably the hardest hitter of all time hit him at the wrong angle and tragically caused Stingley to become a quadriplegic. Tatum never apologized for the hit on Stingley, correctly citing that he led with his shoulder and that it was just a clean, hard hit that led to some unfortunate circumstances. I agree with Tatum that it was a great hit that was clean, but apologizing would have gone a long way. Stingley luckily befriended Gene Upshaw and ultimately was very influential in securing benefits for disabled NFL players. Still, he and Jack Tatum will be forever linked by Tatum's brutal hit on him in August of 1978. Number 2. Lawrence Taylor's hit on Joe Theismann. Was there any doubt as to which hit would go down as the most devastating in NFL history? Lawrence Taylor's hit on Joe Theismann is one of the most gruesome hits or injuries that you'll see in any sport. The video speaks for itself as to how brutal this hit was. It ended Theismann's career prematurely, unsurprisingly. Amazingly, Theismann claimed that he felt no pain after the hit. My dad saw this live and said it was one of the most disturbing things he's seen in over 40 years of watching sports. I've seen Lawrence Taylor breaking Joe Theismann's leg way more times than I can count, but every time I still cringe, and that'll probably never stop because it is without a doubt the most devastating hit in NFL history. Number 1. Grego Olsen Helmet to Helmet Hit. Grego Olsen has been placed in concussion protocol after suffering a nasty helmet to helmet collision during a game. The incident took place during Sunday's game when the Carolina Panthers competed against Washington. It happened at 3.25 left in the third quarter. While on a third and ten, with Carolina lagging behind by a point, Kyle Allen struck Olsen on a short pass. Prior to the collision, Olsen had taken the opportunity to run toward the first down marker. It is believed that the 34-year-old was knocked out by the ensuing strike, which resulted in linebacker Ryan Anderson being ejected for the illegal hit. According to Panthers coach Ron Rivera, Olsen was recovering from the incident, which ultimately culminated in a 29-21 loss to Washington. This is not the first notable injury Olsen has suffered in recent seasons. In 2017, a foot injury meant that he was only able to play in seven games, and another injury resulted in a similar predicament for the player last year, limiting him to just nine games. Olsen is now looking to his future outside football and has expressed an interest in working in broadcasting. As per Yahoo, he has been flirting with the idea for a few seasons and served as an analyst in the booth during the Panthers bye week 2019. That is all for the top 10 NFL knockout hits. If you did like this video let us know by clicking that like button. And what's your best pick for the most brutal hit?
Let us know in the comment section below. See you soon with the new top 10 videos here at Football Nation America.